We've got millennials of, of all ages, mostly young people. Uh, what is the automotive doing, automotive industry doing to uh, address selling these people and getting them into the fold? That marketplace is 85 million plus or minus one or two million. We know that all millennials have basically gone through the Great Recession in one form or another. Now, if that doesn't jade you, if that doesn't bring thoughts into your head about what the future is going to be like, then you didn't live through that particular time. So they saw it firsthand in one way or another, as a matter of fact, and how it impacted them, how it impacted their parents, friends and relatives, etc. They've been living at home, you know, longer and longer, uh, go to school, maybe start their professional life, and until their parents kick them out, if they do kick them out, you know, they are rooted at home over a longer period of time. If I'm a millennial and I know my parents have cars and if I don't need a car, absolutely, what is the encouragement for me to have a car here and now if I don't have to have the expense and the responsibility? And by the way, a lot of millennials uh, have a strong college debt, educational expense that they have to cover one way or another. So that's certainly one way that you can uh, defer consumption, but still grow in terms of knowledge of the marketplace. And there's a false assumption with reference to millennials. I've heard it and I've read it. And the false assumption is they don't like cars. They don't want cars. They say, the heck with cars, you know, we don't need them. No, 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 no. Maybe they don't want the expense of cars initially. I understand that. But as we find out, when millennials get into cars, they don't want to start in, old, in an old jalopy. They really want some elegance. They want something to say. And so often, as a matter of fact, perhaps they'll buy a secondhand, a used luxury mobile. And so they get connected to the idea of what cars are and who they are and how to portray themselves. So again, you know, that assumption that they don't like cars because they're not buying them at 18, 19, 21 years old is completely false. So they're in the market, but just not in the conventional market that, you know, we consider automobiles. They tend to rely more on salesmen, on salespeople, on getting information than baby boomers did. Baby boomers might have been a flip of the coin and it's done. Not so for millennials. They want as much technology as they can get, you know, and that, of course, has helped develop the auto industry. And the auto industry, being aware of, of um, these trappings, if you will, of millennials, have to be able to surface it in their messages and in their vehicles. And we find that more and more. I mean,